I mean, no question about it, we got on really well. And after the night, I was quite disappointed. Now, you see, the thing is for me, and I think this is a good warning for anybody, holiday romance doesn't mean it's about the person. It's about the situation. For me, it was my last night in Thailand. So in the back of my mind, I didn't want the holiday to end. And for some reason, I just went a bit cuckoo. And I think I was latching on to the holiday so much that I latched on to this girl. Subconsciously now. And we kept in touch. She was an air hostess, so she was flying all around the world at the moment. Now, she was still based in Austria, but I went home to Ireland. So we met, stayed in contact the next couple of weeks. We were on the phone together. Now, this is before smartphones, guys, right? So this was a lot harder back in the day. So a lot of texts, a lot of phone calls. Then we met in uh, Austria. Then she came over to Ireland and we had a great time. And eventually we actually started calling each other boyfriend and girlfriend. That is crazy as it sounds. We got into this boyfriend girlfriend scenario. I mean, we only met about four or five times. So what the fuck was I thinking? What the hell was she thinking to? I mean, it's ridiculous. But again, this is the intensity of a long, uh, uh, long term, of a holiday romance scenario. Once you start off, because there's only one way you, you go here, guys. You go down. Right? What I'm trying to say is, when you're on the holiday romance, everything is great. You're around beautiful place. It can be even romantic. It can be just really relaxing. Whatever it is, you're starting off in a really good spot. I mean, it doesn't really get much better than the holiday romance side of things because it's almost perfect. So the only way you can go is either stay exactly where you are Right? In other words, things are amazing all the time, which never fucking happens. Are you go down? And 99% of the time, it's going down. It's as simple as that. So, we were boyfriend-girlfriend on this stage. Then eventually, we're, you know, time goes by and you're thinking, fuck, man, you know, I, what am I going to do here? I, I don't know, like, um, am I going to be able to keep this up? Am I going to fucking cave so eventually things weren't getting right with us at all relationship kind of again now boyfriend girlfriend stupid relationship was kind of sizzling out then of course what happens is desperation kicks in because now you're really freaking out because you don't know what they're up to they don't know what you're up to and that causes paranoia fear that kicks in and then all of a sudden you're chasing your fucking tail and then you're, te you're texting her. You're wondering why hasn't she texted you back. She's texting you wondering why you haven't texted her back. People start losing their fucking minds in this scenario. I lost my mind. She lost her mind. And understandably so. Because it's a, it's a crazy situation to be in in the first place. Because people do lose their goddamn fucking minds. Okay? And we kept going. And eventually we met one more time in Dublin. And you could tell things just weren't very, very good here at the moment. You could tell I was latching on, she was latching on. But you could tell she had a question mark as in, is this really worth this? Uh, not that I was going totally psycho on her now. No. But you could tell she was in a better place than I was, right? She knew that, you know, she, she had a bit more head in her shoulders, I have to admit now, um, at that stage. She was thinking, oh, this ain't, this ain't good. So we spent about four or five nights in Dublin. She went back. And then about two or three weeks later, things got really bad. Couldn't really keep get, get her on the phone, get her, t get her texting. We're still a boyfriend and girlfriend at this stage. And then eventually, I went off with someone else. Then I told her, because uh, I couldn't keep it back. Then she told me about three weeks later, she was with someone else. So, I mean, talk about a fucking holiday romance gone to shit. Like, total waste. So, of course, I'm fucking devastated. She's devastated because we both have done it to each other. Then she pulls the plug, which was a great thing, to be honest. It was a great thing. 
Uh, I was latching on for nothing. I really was. Because it's long distance. I met, I met the girl four or five fucking times, ever. And she's my girlfriend. I mean, give me a break. So, it's extreme situations, guys. She dumped me. And that was great, because actually, I was holding on for dear life, but there was that still, that voice in my head saying, uh, hang on, hang on, don't give up, don't give up. And then there was huge relief when she dumped me. I have to say, it was really sad and gutted, but huge relief. And it didn't take me fucking long to get over it. Not at all. It took me about two or three weeks, and I was back into normal life. Pure relief. And that was it. And problem was, guys, you're going into an extreme fucking scenario. You know? Now, here's the thing. That was 15 years ago. No, sorry, that was 20 years ago. My God, my timeline here is way off. It was 20 years ago, guys. And funnily enough, believe it or not, I met her last year for the first time in 20 years. We stayed in contact on Facebook, uh, you know, a text message here and there in the last 20 years. She got married, she had a couple of kids, that was grand, it never bothered me. But we, you know, we kind of stayed in contact anyway, you know? Because I think the nice thing about that was that at least the two of us knew that we were in a stupid ass fucking situation. We were both idiots. Right? So we didn't actually blame each other at the end of the day. You know, we knew we were under huge pressure. So at the end of the day, it wasn't, you know, hey, fuck you, Austrian girl, you fucked me over. Or fuck you, Peter, you fucked me over. We just knew it was, look, no wonder she went off with someone else. No wonder he went off with someone else. You know what I mean? And so we never held that against each other, ever. And it, and it was a great, you know, at least it was that kind of healthiness at the end. She came over to Ireland last year uh, for, what was it? Now, she came over with a couple of friends. Now, so like I didn't necessarily agree to it, um, but she was saying that she's gonna come over with some friends. I did say to her before when I was drunk, I was like, hey, you should come over, and that was cool. But um, then she said, yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna come over, come over. And then I kind of went, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, because now it's real. It was like, holy shit, I was panicking. And, uh, but then she came over with a couple of friends, she came over, we, st uh, we met up one night, she was with her two other friends, we hooked up that night, uh, had a great night, and, you know, it was kind of a bit like old times a bit, it was, but without the stupidness. We knew that, hey, listen, we're going our separate ways after this. We learnt a hard lesson, or, okay, which was a, gr a good thing. Uh, but she did come back then, but at least she had no pressure in this scenario, because if things didn't work out the night we met, she could have just headed off with her friends for the rest of the holiday. So, you know, there wasn't that pressure and it was great and we knew that. But we did get on. She came back for one more night in Cork, had a great time, and then she went back to Austria. We've been texting ever since, here and there. Everything's all cool, but you can be sure as fuck of this. She'll never move to Ireland to be with me. I'll never move to Austria to be with her. It was a great time. We might see each other again. So, hey, there was a tiny little bit of a happy ending out of a ridiculous scenario that we got ourselves in. So guys, I'm not here to recommend that you do this holiday romance, okay? If you do, it's very extreme. If you're gonna get into this, I would just go in with eyes in the back of your head um, and learn from me if you can. Right, I wouldn't be exchanging phone numbers at the end, emails, social media. I would try and, you know, if it's a clean, keep a clean break, keep a clean break.
cuando te vi, juré que nunca me voy a olvidar. Baila conmigo toda la noche. La ilusión de enamorarme de ti cada
Cuando te vi, juré que nunca más lo voy a olvidar. Baila conmigo toda la noche. La ilusión de enamorarme de ti cada día.
cuando te vi, juré que nunca me voy a olvidar. Baila conmigo toda la noche. La ilusión de enamorarme de ti cada día.
Cuando te vi, juré que nunca más 